recent paper, True Grit and Genetics, Predicting Academic Achievement from Personality, explores the extent to which grit is influenced by genes and the environment and also its prediction of GCSE um, scores. But could you just start by telling us a little bit about what grit is, um, maybe how we measure it? So grit, as defined by Angela Duckworth Group from Penn State University, refers to perseverance or passion for long-term goals. So it refers to extreme stamina or extreme mm -hmm. effort. So people who are grittier you know, tend to pursue the goals regardless of any uh, failures or obstacles on the way. And grit has two subscales, um, perseverance in effort and consistency of interests. Perseverance of effort item uh, was setbacks don't discourage me and a consistency of interest item was I often set a goal but later choose to pursue a different one. Um, and in recent years, uh, research has shown that grit is a significant predictor of uh, uh, school achievement and also just um, uh, life success in general. Mm -hmm. um, however, the critical limitation of the studies to date is the use of highly selected samples. Um, for example, postgraduate or undergraduate students or teachers or uh, spelling competition finalists. So uh, our goal was really to explore uh, how grit relates to school achievement using UK representative sample of 16 year olds. So as you mentioned, um, children differ, can differ in how like, perseverant they are. Well, some will kind of give up at the first hurdle. Some children you know, keep on going until they solve that maths question. But could you tell me um, how much of this difference between people, between children, can, can be explained by um, genes and how much can be explained by the environment? So using a twin method that compares identical twins who share 100% of the genes to fraternal or diazygotic twins who share on average 50% of the segregating genes, uh, we were able to uh, calculate the heritability for grit. So we showed that the heritability for grit, just as any personality trait, is modest. So around a third of the variance or the individual differences between people explained by genetic factors. Uh, shared environmental factors explain no significant variance in grit. And non-shared environmental factors, so these are environmental factors that do not contribute to similarities between twins who grow up in the same family and attend the same school, explain the rest of the variance in grit. So you mentioned that grit might be closely related to the big five personality factors and you can kind of see some commonality with conscientiousness. So could you tell me a little bit about how they might be related and also how they might be used to predict say GCSE results? We've known for a while that personality predicts school performance explaining significant but only a modest uh, proportion of the variance in school achievement. Uh, so in our study, we showed that personality factors altogether explain 6% of the variance in the GCSE exam results. However, we also showed that adding grit uh, to the analysis only explains additional half a percent of the variance um, in the exam results. What we also showed in our analysis is, is that uh, grit and uh, big five uh, conscientiousness are very, very similar, both phenotypically and genetically. So that's really interesting, so that 6% of um, individual differences in GCSE results being explained by those big five personality factors. And then when you're controlling for that, those personality factors, the grit itself only explains half a percent. So could you just tell me a little bit about how, much, how that might relate to policy um, and what educators and policy makers should take away from this research? So yes, developing grit has been set as a major target for you know, Department uh, of Education in US and also UK Department for Education. However, we believe that the results of our study should really uh, warrant some concern in the educational policy directives in US and in UK. Grit only explains half a percent of additional variance when we control for other personality factors. Uh, that doesn't mean that grit can't be trained or indeed it is not beneficial, but we believe that uh, more research should be done into intervention or training programs mm -hmm. before concluding that these intervention or training programs are really indeed beneficial and they indeed improve educational achievement and life outcomes in general.